Hello everyone. Welcome to this uh, training program on statistical data analysis using SPSS. My name is Vamsidhar and in this uh, session I will take you through the mechanism of identifying the outliers through descriptive statistics. <coughs> descriptive is uh, a kind of a procedure which is there in SPSS just like the way we discussed about uh, the usage of frequencies what I can do is using the descriptives also I can do the summary statistics especially for uh, scale data finding out the mean, median, mode or even standard deviation or even the distribution based uh, calculations like skewness, kurtosis, etc. Even uh, those things can be done using the descriptive uh, descriptives procedure also but more importantly apart from that we can uh, it can even help us in identifying the unusual cases across uh, the various variables by computing what is called as a z score z is an indicator for normal distribution so Standard normal distribution is what we call as a Z distribution and uh, the standard normal distribution will have a mean equal to 0 and variance equal to 1. So any data, whatever uh, may be the data, if I have to convert into a standard normal form, what I would be doing is that each of the values, I subtract the mean from it and divide it by the standard deviation of it. This is what will create a standard normal distribution equivalent or typically called as a z-score. So every data, whatever may be the size of it, whatever uh, may be uh, the dimension of it, it would be converted into a standard normal form with a mean of uh, me, uh, with a mean of zero and standard deviation of one, which means whether we are dealing with the cholesterol levels, which may vary from uh, which may vary from uh, two to thousand, or we are uh, dealing with uh, heights, which may uh, vary uh, from uh, let's say uh, fifty to eighty inches, so whatever may be the size, whatever may be the range all of them would be converted into a standard normal form so that the comparisons can be done quite comfortably so that uh, so that uh, yeah, identification of the outliers can be done quite comfortably so that is what we are going to stress upon here so what uh, uh, we are saying is the, the descriptives procedure actually helps us in identifying the unusual cases typically uh, sometimes we call them as outliers but i am not using the word outlier because we will discuss about it uh, slightly later the major mechanism it uses is computing the z-score which means it is assuming that the data is normal data is uh, the distribution of the data is normal and based on that assumption it is computing the Z score and after that uh, we will expose all those Z scores to a box plot. We will talk about this box plot also. But the box plot directly gives us some kind of indications regarding uh, the unusual values that are present in the data. So what we will uh, do is on our data set, I would uh, like to look at this following question. The case question which I would like to address here is convert convert uh, the height, the weight, the cholesterol levels and the rest. All these things convert it, uh, convert the actual values into their corresponding uh, Z scores and then identify 
whether they are any kind of outliers or extreme uh, values that are present in these four variables. If that is the kind of a requirement I have, the way I would uh, go ahead is I select Analyze Descriptive Statistics. I go with the Descriptive Statistics. So as I require to go with uh, Height, Weight, then I also require the cholesterol and even the wrist. So what I will do these four things, I will just say save standardized values as variables. Whenever we use the save procedure, it means the values are saved back to the data set. So for each of these four elements, I would simply do the standardized values as variables and I say OK. Now what is it that is coming out? We know that this is uh, the height, these, these, uh, for, uh, these are the number of records, 400 means no missing values are there and apart from that it also computes some basic statistics saying this is the minimum, this is the maximum, this is the mean and this is the standard deviation which we have uh, computed earlier also using the frequencies procedure also but the most important uh, thing for us uh, here is look out for the uh, table in the variable view you see that there are four new variables that got created which are called as z height z weight which means they are the z transformations of the original variable and you go back to the data you could see that each of the values for each of the values minus uh, the mean divided by the standard deviation of the height. So each height subtracting the average height of the entire data and dividing it by the standard deviation of the height is what is given its uh, corresponding Z score. Now what we will do to identify the unusual cases in the data is I can directly uh, go for a box plot. The moment uh, I have this uh, information with me I can uh, very well uh, go with a box plot to identify the unusual cases that are present in the data or probably I could go with the skewness, kurtosis, some such thing but uh, because I require the unusual uh, cases what I will uh, do is uh, I will uh, go with a box plot wherein I will go to graphs, legacy dialogues from there we have a box plot. So I will choose a box plot where I will ask for a summaries of separate variables because for each of the variables I want a separate box plot to be plotted. What the box plot gives we will just see in a while. right? And here in the boxes I will simply represent all the four Z scores that we have computed. right? So I am uh, I'm putting up uh, the Z scores that are uh, computed and in the options I am making sure that I am excluding variable by variable cases because even if there are some missing elements I don't want the whole record to be uh, uh, eliminated if there is a missing value corresponding to one variable. For example uh, one person's uh, height is not there but the other three details are present. If I do a cases list wise exclusion, just because the height is not present for that person, the whole record is uh, eliminated and it will not be used uh, for the computation of the outliers for the others. But if I do it as variable by variable, uh, only, for, uh, only for heights that value will be uh, treated as missing and for the others, the value will be uh, considered uh, for the computation of outliers. So that is where uh, I would like to go ahead with that uh, requirement and when I say ok, this is what is a typical box plot for us. Now as per this box plot, we are seeing there are some circles, there are some stars. 
we will discuss about uh, each of these things uh, in detail but in general whatever are the stars they are very extreme very unusual kind of values in this case it is saying record number 113 and record number 193 they have the stars here let's see what are the characteristics of them record number 113 i can go to like this from edit go to case case number 113 if i am going to case number 113 this is the record look at uh, the cholesterol level it is 3.79 the z score which mean the value is more than 3 is almost 3.79 standard deviations away from the mean so uh, anything above three standard deviations away from the mean will be treated as an outlier with a star so we are seeing that this particular value is 3.79 standard deviations away from the mean and uh, look at the record number 193 go to case uh, record number 193 it is 4.35 standard deviations away from the mean so these kind of records are very much away from the mean that is the reason they are identified with stars but look at record number 153 just for understanding look at record number 153 the record number 153 also is 4.1 standard deviations away from the mean so i think uh, this 153 is marked with this star not 113 113 is uh, marked with uh, a circle probably you could see the record number 73 and 33 also to get uh, some understanding so if i look at record number 73 it is almost 3.46 standard deviations record number 33 it is almost 3.56 standard deviation so these kind of records have uh, somewhere between 3 to 4 standard deviations away from the mean whereas record number 153 and 193 are almost 4 plus standard deviations away from the mean so something identified by a circle versus a star will it will indicate some level of uh, outliers and very uh, extreme uh, values in the data so probably if we have to bring the data more and more into normal this analysis says that it's better that you remove these kind of values which are considered as outliers and uh, that is what will improvise uh, that is what will uh, improvise uh, the normality in the data and one more thing we can uh, very well see is the width you could see that uh, in uh, the z score for the weight you are seeing that it is slightly more wider compared to this which means the 50 percentage values will lie within this region whereas in this case the 50 percentile values 25 to 75 percentile the total 50 percent of the values are lying between this and this so even the pattern in the data can very well be understood by plotting the z scores as it is so this is a very uh, basic way in which we can identify the outliers across uh, the various variables we'll uh, we'll be discussing uh, in depth about the box plots and the identification of the various uh, outliers in couple of other procedures uh, also but uh, at least until here you need to have that uh, comfort level in terms of the moment i uh, look at any data how do i uh, identify uh, which all uh, values which all records are outliers in it so that i can remove it and try to bring the normality into the data if you have any further uh, queries uh, regarding the same you can very well get back to me by giving me a call on the number which i have uh, provided uh, below 9848012123 or you can even uh, send in an email to me at vamsidhar@pacegurus.com i can very well get back to you with uh, the relevant uh, answers to your uh, relevant clarifications to your questions
Thanks a lot uh, for uh, listening uh, to this uh, session. Thank you very much.